Bali is an island in Southeast Asia. It has many temples and is the most beautiful island in the world. It has a population of 4.2 million people. Although 87% of Indonesians are Muslims, the island of Bali is 84% Hindu. The main reason for this is because when Islam surpassed Hinduism as the number one religion on the island of Java in the 16th century, many of the Javanese people didn't want to accept Islam as their new religion, so they moved to the next island down, and the island of Bali became a refugee for them. This is Temple Tanalot. Tanalot was discovered by a 15th century priest named Near Arthur. During his travels along the south coast, he saw the Rock Island's beautiful setting and rested there. Some fishermen saw him and brought him gifts. Near Arthur then spent the night here. Later, he told the fishermen to build a shrine on the rock because he felt it to be a holy place to worship the Balinese sea gods. At the base of the rocky island, poisonous snakes are believed to guard the temple from evil spirits and intruders. A giant snake created from the priest's scarf purportedly protects the temple. During low tide, you can walk out to the temple. If you look to the right of where this photo was taken, you will see this temple. It is one of seven temples that form a chain here that are within eyesight of each next temple. Till this day, there is still a priest that resides here, or perhaps the ghost of priest near Arthur. At Temple Tanalot Park, you can also purchase tickets to a traditional Balinese dance show. It is believed that the Balinese dancers are possessed by spirits into a trance state during their performance. Balinese dancers learn the craft as children from their mothers as soon as they are born. In the womb, they are played the Balinese music and are taught to dance with their hands before they can walk. Official training as a Bali dancer starts as young as the age seven. Now let's move on to Monkey Forest. Ubud Monkey Forest is a nature reserve and temple complex in Ubud, Bali. The complex houses approximately 600 crab-eating macaque monkeys. Although they typically do not eat crabs, 60 to 90 percent of their diet comes from fruit and seeds, although they sometimes prey on bird chicks, lizards, frogs, and fish. There are four groups of monkeys, each occupying different territories in the park. The Sacred Monkey Forest is a popular tourist attraction in Ubud and is often visited by over 10,000 tourists a month. Tourists are bitten by the monkeys daily because the food they had were not provided to the monkeys quickly enough. Monkey bites can be very serious because the herpes B virus is very prevalent in crab-eating macaque monkeys and frequently causes death in humans. So please don't bring any food into the park and you should be just fine. Now let's go to Temple Ulun Danu Bratan. This temple was built in 1663. 
and is used as an offering ceremony to the Balinese water lake and river goddess Dewi Danu. Due to the importance of Lake Broughton as the main source of irrigation in central Bali, Lake Broughton is known as the Lake of Holy Mountain due to its fertility of this area. Located 1200 meters above sea level, it has a cold tropical climate. Now let's move on to Garuda Wisnu Kankana. It is a cultural park located on the Bukit Peninsula. Bukit is a limestone plateau. The park is devoted to the Hindu god Vishnu and his mount Garuda, the mythical bird who is his companion. Currently the statue of Vishnu is 23 meters high. The original plan was for a 146 meter gold-plated Vishnu to be riding Garuda on top of an 11-story entertainment complex. Garuda's wingspan will be 64 meters across. When it is complete, it will be the largest statue in the world. By mid-2013, the site has become a prestigious wedding venue. And every day, 3,000 tours visit the complex. Now let's go to Temple Luhur Uluwatu. It is also located on the Bukit Peninsula. Luhur Uluwatu was built in the 11th century. It is one of nine directional temples meant to protect Bali from evil spirits. It has breathtaking views and also has monkeys here. Sarongs are required to be worn by both men and women to enter all temples in Bali. And women should never have their shoulders exposed because it is considered disrespectful. Now last but not least is the Mother Temple. The Mother Temple of Basaki is located in the village of Basaki on the slopes of Mount Agung in eastern Bali. It is the most important, the largest and holiest temple of Hindu religion in Bali and one of a series of Balinese temples. Perched nearly 1,000 meters of the site of Ganung Agung, it is an extensive complex of 23 separate but related temples with the largest and most important being the Temple Pinataran Agung. This is built on six levels terraced up this slope. The precise origin of the temple is not clear, but it almost certainly dates back from prehistoric times. It was certainly used as a Hindu place of worship from 1284 when the first Javanese conquerors settled in Bali. Each year there are at least 70 festivals held at the complex, since almost every shrine celebrates a yearly anniversary. This cycle is based on the 210-day Balinese calendar year. My name is Paul, and as they say here on the Island of Gods, Terabakasi.